inside this bright yellow bus named Bess, the shelves are stocked with books ready for young readers. The Mobile Literacy Outreach travels the country, providing new books to children in impoverished areas. Bess the Book Bus is named in honor of Jen's grandmother, who cultivated her love of reading at a young age. I actually started Bess the Book Bus in 2002. She is named after my Nana, Nana Bess, who just was really instrumental in developing my love of reading. She would take us down to the library and read stories to us. We were local in Tampa for the first five years, and then we started traveling a national level. We started the first Successes in Sight tour was back in 2009, and we traveled to 35 states that year in 72 days, and that was a ton of fun. We gave out over 30,000 books that year, which was a big change for us. Almost every day, Jen and Bess visit a different school, handing out books and doing classroom read-alouds. It's a memorable moment when the children get to pick their own brand new book. <gasps> Last year, Jen gave away 50,000 books. With help from sponsors, she hopes to double that this year. We ended up being in 35 states. We saw about 25,000 kids, which was really something. We were in the Navajo Nation, and, and Oregon, and Detroit, which is a normal uh, visit for us. In 2009, Best the Book Bus partnered with Transitions Optical, giving free eye exams to children. And that's just become one of the most wonderful things. I had no idea the impact that it would have to have these kids have the opportunity to have healthy sight. They come off the clinic with brand new glasses and it's just, it's, it makes me tear up every time. We did an event in December with Transitions in One Sight, which is a global company, and we were at Sulphur Springs Elementary. They were able to give about 450 eye exams, free eye exams, they busting kids from 17 different schools and 375 kids left with brand new glasses. And just the looks on their face and they, I love it because I usually meet them first. They'll come out and get to, while they're waiting for their exams, get to pick out books and then they come back, they always come back to show me their glasses and how proud they are of them and they tell me they can, they can read now, you know, they can see. There's so many more colors, which I think just everything's so much sharper that they can actually see. So we're excited. We start our next trip in March. So we'll actually be on the road in about a month and a half and we will travel for about 65, 70 days on that trip and we'll be in about 40 states this year. So, really exciting. With the help of national sponsors, Jen tours the country, but she also makes a difference right here in Tampa, making Best the Book Bus a true Tampa treasure. For Spotlight Tampa, I'm Mark Flynn. Super cool. I need Woo, good job, guys.